Right, I'm going to show a quick example of how to link um, a schematic symbol with a 3D panel. So, this is the probably the quickest approach. We need to actually double click and find out what part number or what type we've assigned and select and control C and then go into functions and database and then we need to, using the new equipment editor, we can now go into control V and search for that straight away and we can find it. Double clicking allows us to edit it and we're looking for the defined channels. If it's not in there we need to add it. In this case it's here so we need to click on the right where the three dots are. Now we can set up a circuit diagram symbol but essentially we do need to define what the symbol is for the 3D panel. We can also set what the connection point numbers. We should set this if we're going to use the wire harness information. We need to define this correctly. I'm only going to put the main connection points there, 1 to 6. I'm then going to search for a symbol. I need to make sure these 3D symbols are in the same folder as my C electrical symbols. So these are all prefixed with an at symbol. So I'm going to go into here. Um, actually, I'm going to do a search GV2 something. And I can see the at Schneider ones. These are my 3D ones. I'm going to click on this one. And I can actually write, uh, use the wheel to actually just check around that and make sure that looks OK. And that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to double click. Now it says the number of connection points don't match. So I haven't assigned any connection points. I need to actually tick those to say those are the ones I want to use. And that's it. So that's now set up to use that symbol on the 3D panel. So we go back to here. As always, if we've made a change to the database, we must go to Functions and Update and say yes to update the type information for this project. For future projects, you wouldn't have to do that. It's just this one that you've already used that parts information and it's stored with there. So we can now go into the 3D panel. And I'm just going to minimize that screen so we can see it. So on the panel, uh, the first thing to do, we've got an area we're going to place it. First thing to do is to find the actual components panel to then right click and we can use any of the top ones to bring in the whole group. So we can say load from function and use an empty function. Click OK. And what we're looking for is 1Q2, which it's saying is there. And we can just click to select it and we'll find that that component then comes in. Um, we can use the wheel to hold and drag it around and we can snap it onto there. OK, so that symbol has now appeared. We can select it, right click and choose go to circuit diagram and we can see it's directly linked to that one. All good.